thank you. Uh, hello, I have uh, the pleasure to present you a very important subject in the mining and geotechnics, the loading and slid newness ratio effect and the failure probability of pillars in an underground mine. <clears throat> in this online conference, RS 2023, uh, our presentation will uh, proceed as follows. We will begin with introduction. After that, aim of the work the, and uh, the theoretical part. After that, results. Next, we will present uh, conclusions and uh, finishing with future work. Uh, talking about safety in the mining works, uh, whether underground or surface, come back to talk about the stability of the rock mass that compose it or that around uh, this structure. I hope you know it's not easy to estimate the real value of strength under a lot of, of heterogeneities for which it's not easy because the strength more particularly uh, the failure includes some statical aspect, certain random uh, appearance. In geotechnics, uh, we are looking a lot uh, at this uh, at the properties of uh, these massives, uh, where uh, are going to excavate or, or build the mine. Uh, when we have mine contain contains certain number of pillars. Of course, each pillar has uh, its own characteristic. Using uh, the strength formula with probabilistic. Uh, aspect to define the probability of failure of pillars. The best understanding of geostatical variability in pillars, which are uh, in different size and different shape, allow us to draw uh, cartography. Uh, the most sensitive to break is uh, to intervene uh, first. There, there is great uh, variation in behavior of uh, pillars at failure uh, from one mine to another and even within a given mine. This behavior is related to uh, the shape of uh, pillars, uh, to the nature of uh, the rock and the local geomechanical uh, conditions. There are five types of uh, failure, for example, cracking, and detachment lateral flux, uh, pillar dilatation. Uh, in uh, the case uh, of pillar cut by <clears throat> one or uh, more one uh, or more families of fractures, the failure is oriented along uh, the plans of uh, weakness constituted by, constituted by the discontinuities. Uh, a new analytical, analytical formula was developed and applied to estimate large skull strength from impact rock, which leads to more realistic values than <clears throat> the usual, usual techniques used in geotechnics and fail control. This approach based uh, on principle of weak link of Weibull's law, which makes use uh, of, the no, of the notion of probability of failure. Uh, to value the risk of uh, failure. This formula takes into account the scale effect and the shape effect of pillar, as well as uh, the estimate of its failure, of its, uh, failure probability. Uh, determination of probability of survival of pillars, the equation proposed as an analytical approach to estimate the strength of pillar such as RP strength of pillar, it's equal the stress to be applied for at least one of the defects, uh, it means uh, discontinuities is activated. Uh, so the failure occurs. As case study, an example of uh, 29 pillars in block 5-9 in Sha'ab uh, al-Hamra underground mine in Algeria. This table uh, presents calculation result and probability of failure for 21 uh, pillar. Uh, we noted by comparing the result obtained 
uh, that there is an intense relation of dependence between probability of failure and the slenderness as well as the extraction rate. For example, uh, the pillar number 20 is pillar uh, is slender pillar uh, with an extraction ratio of uh, 90 percent has a uh, probability of serve of failure 0 0.9 uh, it's look uh, like failed failure like uh, as uh, photo shows another hand in other hand uh, the pillar number 29 is uh, less slender pillar with extraction rate 0 0.7 has uh, probability of failure 0 0.1. Uh, it's uh, it's a very stable uh, pillar, like uh, as the photo shows. The curve and the figure uh, clearly shows the decrease of uh, the probability of failure with the increase of W to H ratio. For this, it can be pronounced that the phenomenon of confinement linked to the increase of WTH ratio, which reinforces the probability of survival of uh, the pillar, so that the least slender uh, pillar is most likely to collapse. We present in this figure the evolution of the survival probability with increasing of shape ratio WTH for different volumes of uh, pillar. We notice that uh, there is critical values of uh, W2H ratio for each volume uh, on the pillar, where uh, the survival probability is stabilized to one. For small volume like uh, V equal uh, 18, uh, cubic, uh, cubic meters, uh, no evolution beyond WTH equal to one. For uh, volume of 100 uh, cubic meters, no evolution beyond WTH equal 1.5. Uh, we present in uh, figure the evolution in this figure the variation of survival probability as function of the increase of the sheep ratio WTH for different loads to be applied for a pillar of volume fix 50 uh, cubic meters. The same findings were raised uh, for the four loads. So the probability of survival uh, stabilized at uh, one for small load uh, however, it stabilized quickly with small WTH ratio for S uh, applied uh, stress equal three megapascal, no evolution beyond WTH equal one. For S equal 49 megapascal, no evolution beyond WTH equal 2.5. As final uh, conclusion, from results uh, found that there is an intense dependence relation between the probability of failure and the slenderness ratio uh, or the extraction rate. In addition, the load and volume of uh, the pillar are factors uh, that must consider it when selecting the emissions of pillars. Therefore, the choice of the optimal critical size of uh, the pillars allow us to ensure their safe operation and good performance of the mining, even high recovery rate safely. Uh, in future work, uh, we work in on the influence of uh, the ge geostatical variability uh, of the discontinuities uh, in the pillar. And thank you for your attention. Uh...